I got this question on this channel. Hey Mosh, I'm 30 and I was planning to start a career as a programmer. Do you think this is wise? Common question. A lot of people are worried that AI is going to replace software engineers. So is coding still worth learning in 2024? Well, depends who you ask. If you ask certain folks, the ones who always seem miserable and say everything is going to collapse, they will say no. Coding has no future. But I've got a different take backed up by real world numbers. In this video, I'm sharing data that shows the continued demand for software engineers. So to understand where we are now and what the future will look like for software engineers, make sure to watch this video to the end. First, I want to be transparent. I've been creating coding courses for the past 10 years and in that time, I've been lucky enough to teach millions of people how to code and launch their careers in tech. So yes, you could say I have a vested interest in this field, but I want to assure you that this isn't a sales pitch. It's about helping you make an informed decision. I want you to hear both sides of the story and decide for yourself what you believe. At the end of the day, it's your decision whether you want to learn coding or not. And even if you want to, you don't even have to buy my courses or learn from me. There are thousands of great options out there. So yeah, there is a lot of fear about AI replacing coders. Headlines scream about robots taking over jobs and it can be overwhelming. But the truth is, AI is not going to take your job. Instead, it's the person who knows how to work with AI that will steal your job. The reality is, software engineering is not going away, at least not anytime soon. Don't just take my word for it, here is some data to back it up. The United States Bureau of Labor Statistics, often called the BLS, is a government agency that tracks job growth across the country. On their website, you can see that the employment for software developers is expected to grow by 26% from 2022 to 2031. The average across all occupations is 3%. So that's a strong indication that software engineering is here to stay, but it'll most likely transform and that's what we'll explore in this video. To better understand the impact of AI on software engineering, let's take a minute and talk about the history of programming. In the early days of computing, programmers wrote code in a way that only computers understood, long strings of zeros and ones. It was incredibly tedious. They had to keep track of exactly where each piece of data and code was stored in the computer's memory. And to do that, they had to manually calculate memory addresses and make sure that different parts of the program didn't overwrite each other. Compilers came to solve this problem. With a compiler, we can program in a human-readable language like C++ without worrying about how that code should eventually get converted to zeros and ones and where it will get stored in the memory. That's the job of a compiler. Now here is a fact. Compilers didn't replace programmers. They made them more efficient. And the result of that, the amazing websites and apps we have today that no one could even imagine in the past. These days, billions of people can communicate in real time. AI will likely do the same. In the future, we'll be able to delegate routine and repetitive coding tasks to AI so we can focus on complex problem solving, design, and innovation. This will allow us to build more sophisticated software that most people can't even imagine today. But even then, just because AI can generate code doesn't mean we can or we should delegate the entire coding aspect of software development to AI. Because AI-generated code has a lower quality and humans still need to review and refine it before using it in production. In fact, there is a study to support this. They collected 153 million change lines of code between January 2020 and December 2023. And they found disconcerting trends for maintainability. And listen to their prediction for 2024. Code churn, which means the percentage of lines that are reverted or updated less than two weeks after being authored, is projected to double in 2024. So yes, we can produce more code in less time with AI, but more doesn't equal better. Humans should always review and refine AI-generated code for quality and security before deploying it to production. And that means all the coding skills a software engineer currently has will continue to stay relevant in the future. You will still need the knowledge of data structures, algorithms, programming languages and their tricky parts, tools and frameworks. You'll still need to have all that knowledge to be able to review and refine the AI-generated code. You'll just spend less time typing it. So anyone telling you that you can use natural language to build software without understanding anything about coding is out of touch with the reality of software engineering. 
Sure, you can make a dummy app, but not the kind of software that runs our banks, airlines, healthcare, the kind of software our life depends on. We can't let a code monkey talk to a chatbot in plain English and get that software built. At least, not anytime soon. In the future, we'll probably spend more time designing new features and products with AI instead of writing boilerplate code. We'll likely delegate aspects of coding to AI, but this doesn't mean we don't need to learn to code. Think of it like a skilled architect using blueprints. The architect doesn't need to hand draw the whole blueprint themselves, but they still need to understand those blueprints in detail, make sure everything works as designed, and give clear instructions for those building the final structure. As a software engineer, you will always need to understand the code, review what AI generates and refine it, either by hand or by guiding the AI to improve. Also, keep in mind that coding is only one part of a software engineer's job. We often spend most of our time talking to people, understanding requirements, writing stories, discussing software architecture and so on. AI cannot help with that aspect of our work. It can only boost our programming productivity, but not necessarily the overall productivity. In fact, another study by McKinsey found that for highly complex tasks, developers saw less than a 10% improvement in their speed. So as we can see here, AI helped the most with documentation and code generation to some extent. But moving on to refactoring, the improvement dropped to 20% and for highly complex tasks, it was less than 10%. And this happens when the coding task involves something the developer isn't already familiar with. So if anyone tells you that software engineers will be obsolete in five years, they're either ignorant or trying to sell you something. In fact, some argue that the role of software engineers may become more valuable as they will be needed to develop, manage, and maintain these AI systems. They need to understand all the complexity of building software and use AI to boost their productivity. Now, some are worried that one senior engineer can simply use AI and replace many engineers, essentially leaving no job opportunities for juniors. But again, that's a fallacy because in reality, the time savings you get from AI is not as great as you are promised. Anyone who has used AI to generate code knows that it takes effort to get the right prompts for usable results, and the code still needs polishing. So it's not like one engineer will suddenly have so much free time to do the job of many people. Now you might say, but Mosh, that's the current state of AI. Look, AI is rapidly advancing and in a year or two, it will be able to build software just like a human. Well, in theory, yes, AI is advancing and one day it may even reach and surpass human intelligence. But in theory, theory and practice are the same. In practice, they're not. The reality is, while machines may be able to handle repetitive and routine tasks, human creativity and expertise will still be necessary for developing complex solutions and strategies. I strongly believe software engineering is going to be extremely important over the next several decades. I don't think it's going away, but I do think it's going to change. In the future, we'll have to learn how to input the right prompt into our AI tools to get the expected result. It's not an easy skill to develop. It requires problem-solving capability as well as knowledge of languages and tools. So here's the bottom line. If you have already made up your mind and don't want to invest your time in software engineering, that's perfectly fine. Follow your passion. But if you like building things with code, if the idea of shaping the future with technology gets you excited, don't let negativity and fear hold you back. Software powers our world, and that won't change anytime soon. Yes, the tools will evolve, but the true skill lies in learning and adapting. The future software engineer needs today's coding skills and an understanding of how to use AI effectively. The output of AI is only as good as the instructions you give it. Think about it. Programmers once worked directly with zeros and ones. Today's web developers need to know HTML, CSS, Tailwind, JavaScript, TypeScript, React, Next.js, Git, automated testing, and so much more. My prediction is that the future brings even more complexity, demanding more knowledge and adaptability from software engineers. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more useful coding advice.